but it's over. Okay? And you've got to stop holding on to it. That's just going to make you feel worse. <laughs> Noah, how can I let go? I mean, Damien has come in and he's made his move. It's just like my father said. Damien came back here to get with my mom, and my father's accent cleared the way. You gotta stop beating up on your mother. She loves you. She needs your help. So help her. You're right. You're right. Maybe I can stop this before Damien does any more damage. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You're my family too, you know? <laughs> Oh, hey. Hi, Mason. Hey. How are you? Good. Don't leave on my account. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. I got your message. What's up? How do you feel about another road trip? You got something special planned for the class? Nope. Just the two of us. Okay, it's awkward for me, too, but it is my business. Holden's not only my cousin, he was my best friend. I've got an obligation to his kids. I'm worried about them, Lily. So am I. Lily's doing a terrific job with the children. Which is not easy under the circumstances. Yeah, I understand that, Damien, but this is between Lily and me. Are you asking me to leave? Jack, whatever you have to say to me, you can say it in front of Damien. All right, listen, I don't think that Faith is handling her father's death all that well. She hasn't been herself since she ran out of the funeral. And after what I witnessed just now... What you saw just now? <sighs> Lily, the kids' lives are changing way too fast. They've been traumatized. We all have. Yes, I know that. But they need someone that they can depend on. Someone who's not going to fall to pieces without Are you warning. Wait a minute, I'm not accusing you of anything. And I know it's a lot for you to handle, but for the time being, I think it would be a good idea for Faith and Natalie and Ethan to come stay with me at the farm. You can't take my kids away Lily, from me. Hold on, they'd be with family out at the farm. Emma, J Janet, and Meg, we, we could all help keep an eye on them. And they'd feel closer to holding that way. No, this is their home. They, they belong with their mother, especially after what's happened. You have no legal right to those children. Okay, time out. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm merely asking you to consider it. Why on earth would I? Because you love your kids. And because they're struggling. Don't make it worse by letting them see you with another man in their father's bed. dare you come in here and start throwing accusations around? What have I said thus far? That's not true. The, that's not the point. Yes, it is. Obviously, something is going on between the two of you, because when I drove up, Faith was on the terrace. She was too upset to come inside because she saw the two of you in here making out. We thought that she was at school. That's where she's hey, supposed listen, to I'm, be. I'm not here to comment on your personal business. But if you're going to flaunt your relationship... We were flaunting kids, it! There's Faith no way we... Faith is very sensitive. The last thing she needs is to be confronted with this right now. You think I'm an unfit parent? No, I think you're tired, Lily. And I think you're overstressed. I think you're grieving. My kids are all that I have left of Holden. If you take them away from... Lily, I'm not taking them away. I just don't think that this is a very healthy environment for them at the moment. Because of me? Yes, absolutely because of you. It is too soon to bring another man into their lives. They have barely had time to deal with the death of their father, who, by the way, was not very fond of you. You know what, Jack? Why don't you worry about your kids? After all the trouble that Parker's been in yeah, for you to presume... Did you know that Faith was confiding in Parker? He's worried about her, too. Again, I'm not... I'm not going to tell you how to run your personal life. But these kids... It's too soon to bring another father figure into their life, especially him. I've done nothing but trying to be supportive. Okay, and this isn't about you, Grimaldi. We're all adults. This isn't the first family member we've lost. But to these kids, losing their dad has changed their entire world. They need to be the center of attention right now. And you don't think I could give them that? Right now? No, Lily, I'm sorry. I don't. I just think that until things change around here, they would be much better off living at the farm with me. Did Meg put you up to this? She's worried about the kids, Damien. We all are. She asked my advice. She didn't do it for the sake of the kids. She did it because she's angry at Damien. What, can you blame her? The two of you broke her heart. Excuse me. I'll call you later. Jack, you're a good man. I know that you came here with the best intentions. 
you are wasting your time. My children aren't going anywhere. The Minneapolis Film Festival. It's one of the biggies. I managed to scrounge up a couple of all-access press passes. I don't believe it. These things are like gold. Yeah, they are. <sighs> don't expect to sleep too much, because the first screening is at 8 a.m., the last one is at midnight, and that's when all the networking begins. What do you say? You up for it? Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't be, but what about my classes? Ah, we'll call it independent study. Come on, an experience like this is worth way more than a grade in a gut class. I mean... Yeah, unless that grade is incomplete. All right. Uh, give me a copy of calendar. I'll contact all the other profs. Oh, come on. Like, that's going to work? Why not? I mean, come on. The basketball team, they take off like a week every time they get a tournament. Why me? Because you're one of the best students I've ever had. Mm. That and the fact that I can't drive myself. So if you don't come, I don't go. <laughs> well, I am really flattered. And this is an unbelievable opportunity, but... You're gonna have to find somebody else. I didn't just hear that. Luke's family's in bad shape right now, and he's trying to make sure everybody's okay, which is impossible and not his job. That's Luke, and I need to be here with him. Wow. Did you ever do anything without wondering how Luke will feel? No, um, nothing. Why? Do you have a problem with that? No. Maybe I'm just a little bit jealous. Dare I what? You don't seriously believe Lily's unfit to care for her own children. I don't know what you're talking about, Damien. You're lying. You went to Jack with a fairy tale about how Lily and I are threatening, are traumatizing her kids, and now he's trying to take him away. He is? Don't, don't, don't pretend you had nothing to do with it. You obviously put the idea in his head. All I did was tell Jack that I was worried about the kids, and I told him why. I had no idea what he was planning to do with that information. Of course you did. Well, if you have all the answers, why'd you come storming over here? Someone has to get you to mind your own business. Well, not you. I want nothing to do with you anymore, as far as I'm concerned. You're a bad memory. Look, you have every right to be angry. I made mistakes in our relationship. <laughs> like letting me believe we were having one? But it isn't Lily's fault. I should have been able to control myself. I just... Yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to hear about this anymore. You had no problem discussing it with Jack, though. Look, you want to blame someone, blame me. Not Lily. Why? She could have said no. I feel like half of me has been ripped off, okay? It's all I can do to keep from curling up and praying to God to take me so that I can be with Holden. Please, please don't say that. It's okay. I don't, I don't let the kids see it. But in my heart of hearts, if it weren't for them, there would be nothing for me here. And Damien, he understands that. He, he helps me. He keeps me strong. So that I can be strong for my children. But you're not. They see Damien in your bedroom, and they assume their father's been replaced. I am devastated that Faith walked in on us. But Damien and I are the only people that know what really happened in that room, and we have nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, Lily, you're talking out of both sides of your mouth here. You and Holden were joined at the hip. How could you move on so fast? And with the one guy that Holden would never want for you in a million years. He's gone, Jack. It's the last thing in the world that I wanted, but it's a fact. And no matter what's happened between Damon and me, my husband isn't coming back. Lily can get her hands on a lot of money. Very quickly. My kind of gal. You just tell her when and where you want the money, some anonymous location, and she'll do it. And you can go pick it up. It'll be like going to a, to a drive through window at a bank. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have much use for banks, unless I'm robbing them. So, uh, this wife of yours, she pretty? She's the most beautiful woman that I've ever seen. But she may not take your word that you have me. Even if I hack off in the ear for proof? What's that gonna do? She's not gonna believe it's his. The only way she's gonna believe you is she hears it from me. Oh. All right. <laughs> 